Well, good morning. Good morning to everyone. And I got to say it one more time. Good morning to you all. I see the gunslingers are in action again, shareholders. You all have your all speed dials on for sure. You know, good morning to you all. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here on the rock. Just splendid. Now, we had to come West Coast for a swim. Um, so, as you can appreciate, uh, it was a little drive down the road. But we're here and it's high tide today. So, before we start, let me remind you it is high tide today. So, the beach you're going to see is at its smallest right now so don't panic just take your time okay um as you will notice there's lots of renovations going on the cliff restaurant there um a lot of stuff going on i'm not too sure exactly what is the going to be final product but as you can see it's looking a lot bigger than it was before for sure all right and the distance first at a reef is what you see what we call the creek that was where coconut creek used to be there are the little small coves there that you're seeing and then beyond that only point is crystal cove where we walked to the other day so you all know exactly where we are um, we're right here in Payne's Bay itself and we're going to make our way to the north today we're walking opposite direction before we start off uh, let us do our serenity prayer please and here we go just before we do that though I want you to see that I'm here no hat nothing today have on this my bike because it has any tripod get a little sound effects for you and before I go any further as well like let you know we didn't put up any yesterday because there was too much wind that came with the sound that we were up on the cliffs so I didn't worry put up that video. So hopefully this morning will be good. And if so, you will have a little meditation, a little Bajan medication later on today. So here we go. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Good morning to you all again. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. This morning was just spectacular coming over the coast. Just a couple of little drizzles and stuff. I was a little concerned, but we got here and it seems to be great for now. Just beautiful in this area here. Everybody knows Payne's Bay, I'm sure. And if you're not too familiar with this, we're, I would say, approximately two kilometers out of Whole Town. That is an estimate again, just a layman's estimate. Um, this morning's sounds that we did have the usual sounds of the B buses <laughs> accelerating and deaccelerating. You all be familiar with that if, you're from, if you know the West Coast well. You know that's one of the sounds that come with the waves. And it's beautiful, beautiful nature sound that we're going to experience. Alright, we have walked the opposite direction before. But, you know, just to try and keep it a little bit fresh, we're going to reverse our walk in today. And we're going from the south to the north. Just lovely down here. At this time of morning, everywhere in Barbados is peaceful. You'll find a peace that you will not find later on in the day for sure. Down here, it's peaceful, yes, but not this quiet, quiet serenity that we're experiencing. Just beautiful. As I'm going to walk a little further, what I'll do is I'm just going to let you all listen to the sounds and enjoy what we're taking in now. You'll see why I sort of like warned you about how the, sea, how the beach is going to look extremely small. It is at the highest tide right now. Um, maybe just a little bit after high tide. But the tide effects are still here for sure. This morning was a little difficult in getting from the public entrance down between Sandy Lane 1. Uh, at least to the north of Sandy Lane 1. It was a one Sandy Lane. Very, very bad down there. As in the beach. But again, it is high tide so... You know, it would be a little different at low tide, but most definitely a noticeable difference from when we walked last week. Because it would be just the tide change alone. But that's a good thing, because you get an idea of what it actually looks like. But please note where the high tide was last night. These match Neil and the little bit of sargasm that's here would have washed up in the higher tide. And as you can see, the tide changes here. Fleckles, and then into the higher, the, uh, lower, smoother areas. And that will show you that the low tide, or the lowish tide comes up fairly high as well but a very high tide this morning was all up there but we've had some rain so i would imagine that would probably mean yesterday's tide not this morning's tide because the fleckles you will see is from the rain drops and stuff on the sand so there are two different high water marks here one that's running just in this general area here and then the full 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 tide is just above okay so this will give you an indication of what the west coast is looking like now 
I know a lot of you are West people. I can see why. Just gorgeous, gorgeous scenery down here. Sea conditions are just divine. Hello, little doggy. Morning, how are you? Yeah, it's a lot more limited area to walk on at the moment. It's a lot of sea erosion and stuff that's been going on. Don't worry, a lot of this is going to come back. Uh, but I would say by the winter season, this will be a lot wider. And then again, uh, depends on what kind of north swells we get. Because it's the north swell that moves all the sand around the December, January, February, March time. Just beautiful. All right, last time we were down here, I pointed out this property to you. I told some of you to get your fine change out of your mattress. This place is for sale. So if you have a little money laying around somewhere, you can always buy a couple of those pennies that come down here and buy that property. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know how big your mattress is. Maybe about eight or ten layers high if you're going to buy this one. All right. All right, step up here is fairly big, maybe a foot and a half to two foot, maybe a foot and three quarters. This carries us over the drainway that comes down just to the north of Treasure. Well, no, sorry, just to the south of the house in that general area, house in Tamarin. Lovely area down here for sure. Look at the reflections, folks. We haven't been on West for a little while. We've been seeing a lot of rugged terrain, so this is like, you know, soothing to the eye for sure. Not that the, not that the east and the rugged terrain is not beautiful, but when you go from that extreme to what we're at right now, how oh, lovely. Look at these sea conditions, like glass then. Beautiful. All right, well, down here, as you know, if we do a 360, we can be taking in half the land as well. So I guess we could do it in this general area. And this is by the house itself. And Daphne, as you can see here, sir. Okay, let's do a nice little quiet 360 here so you can enjoy and understand how beautiful down here is. Here we go. Got that one on the belt. <laughs> one quiet 360 for you. We've started off the game well this morning. For sure, we're running with action. All right, down here is beginning to come alive now. Last time we did this beach, um, these hotels here were closed. because I guess um, because of the COVID and also because of the road works that were going on. I am happy to say the only section of road that is not complete, but it's almost complete because I put on the top surface. Just have to actually put on the final layer. And that is a section from the fish market by Payne's Bay, just down to the bottom of Holder's Hill. So that is the only section that remains um, that we're working on. And it looks as though it'll be finished out in a matter of days. So West Coast is clear again. You don't have to divert up over Highway 2A. Uh, you know, that has been a lot of traffic up there. When you're taking all the highways and putting them onto one, the congestion and stuff going up onto the, well, to the center and south of the island from the west was real heavy at peak time. You sit for a long time in traffic. That is going to be eased now considerably now that the West Coast has opened up again. Really nice highway. The hotels down here seem to be ready. They're just doing their final touches and stuff. Um, I guess some of them are actually completed, but there's still some that are just touching up and getting ready for a big season. This year is going to be a big season if everything goes right. For sure. Lots of you are hungry to get back to these shores. I know that. I know some of you are even coming in summer when you don't normally come in summer because you need a Barbados fix. You need the medication that comes from Barbados. Hopefully I'm giving you something like that. In the meantime, keeping you happy, keeping you a little bit contented, keeping you wishful and hopeful. Hopefully that is what we're doing with the EMC. Because that's what we actually portray. A group of people that are loving, caring, kind, bring hope, bring positivity. Thanks to all the new members that have been um, signing up. Uh, well, well, coming online. And thanks to all of the people that have been sending friend requests because I know you will be online with us soon, um, whenever, it's, whenever it's possible. So I look forward to opening up the doors to all of you all again. Very, very bad conditions down here if you're a walker and not too stable right now. So 
I will show you that in a minute. Don't want to focus on this lady that's coming down off these steps. I'll just let you watch some scenery for a minute. But limited room down here to walk on at high tide, for sure. I would say there's more sand or there's less sand than the last time we were down here. Um, that was a couple of months ago. I think that may have been possibly in, I don't know, June, somewhere in June. Hi there, how are you? We did the beaches down here sometime in June and I would definitely say there's a lot less sand than there was in June, especially in this immediate area here. Even although the tide is high, you will notice there's no sand down here. It's only rock. We did have sand right down to these steps the last time we were here. A lot of these roots, there was only um, one up there, just in front of that lady there that we were sitting on and there was just the other one here close to us was exposed. All the others were actually under sand. The get up from here, just so you can see what it's like now. This is where you're going to have to step up. You're going to use a concrete block and then make another step up. Unless you're flighty like me and do a backflip onto the stage. But I have the camera so I can't really do that this morning, so forgive me. But <laughs> when you watch the Olympics, you know, you always feel as though you could do it. It's just like going to a Kung Fu movie. You watch Kung Fu movie, you come out, you think you could spring off a coconut tree and kick somebody in the midair, you know, but that's not the reality of it. The, the Olympics and the acrobatics for those that are trained and specialized in that area. All right, the walk around here, you're going to see the kind of stuff that's been going on because I actually only noticed it this morning. Last time I came here, it was not like this. So I'm going to put the direction a little bit down onto the walkway so you can understand what you may have to encounter if you are coming here right now if you're in the island right now and you're coming on west coast if you want to do a walk i definitely recommend low tide for sure because it's hardly anything to walk on here as you're going to see all right we make our way around here when i get to the end here we'll bring you back onto the beautiful scenery but this is what's been happening now a couple of these are actually shifting when you put the weight on them because they're flat the actual um I guess maybe the area that are locked on has gone. I don't know if they're designed to do that. I don't know if they are designed to lift rather than break. I am not too sure. But I do know it's a little bit wobbly going across here. So we can take our time. I think this is the one that moves quite a bit. Yeah, this is the baby that moves quite a bit. So just be wary again, you know, because things right now down here are a little bit shaky, you know, especially in this area. So if you're coming across here, be very, very careful, please. It's also a little bit slippery as well on occasions. Just beautiful scenery. I don't think I use the word yet, so I do it fairly good. But who knows, when I go home and look at the video, I may use it in the first five seconds. But I'm trying here not to use the word. You know, I, I decided that today would not say stunning, not say stunning at all. So let's try and move on a little further. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was almost like your subliminal messages that you all have been leaving me. How delicate they were, honestly. I would never have guessed you all wanted to go in the sea today or take a swim because you all were so subtle about it. Amazing. There we go. Everyone is saying stunning. It's fantastic. It is a stunning morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Just amazing. What a spectacular scenery. Just magnificent. I see my friend Ryan on board here. He hasn't told me where he wants to make me suffer this week in which parish, but I know he will do so in due course. So, Ryan, uh, you know what to do, buddy. Set your plot up. And remember, I can be calling you if you don't call me because I, I am no hitch on these, on these hikes for sure. And the EMC love them as well. So, you ain't getting off easy, my friend. You and me going to hit the turf somewhere this week again. Just lovely conditions down here, though. I'm looking forward to a swim. As you can see, it's coming up on the shore bay and there's some small rocks in it. So again, as we've talked about in the past, just be wary of these rocks on the shore bay. You can get hit pretty hard on your ankle. I've known people have actually had a chip ankle getting hit by one of these here in a bigger surf, of course. I know some of you all want to take a swim already. I know you're itching to get in the sea, but you got to hold on a little bit longer because I have this bag on today and that's because I had to bring it a little small tripod as I mentioned. Um, so I just can't run in the sea and run back out. But one of these days, I can surprise you all and do an entire walk down here in the, in the sea itself. Don't come up on the beach at all. Now knowing the way I'm walking and the way the sea is, that may take us two hours. So I got up for a day that I can just give away two hours of data. So, 
local hangout area. There's some new trees here. There's your fishermen and stuff operate from this area. Don't see as many boats out here as normal, but um, just a couple of them out. Isn't it just gorgeous? Let me give you a vision of the sky as well, so you can see how beautiful Barbados is. Just spectacular. I love the light, high clouds, and then you have the pockets of little patches of low cloud that look as you can actually pick them out. Yeah, say we saw all of the levels of cloud when we were up at the cliff, as you all would have noticed in the pictures, everything was there. It was actually um, quite an experience to view some of those pictures when I got home. Now, I saw them when I was at location, but I was able to look at them in a better detail when I got home, and I was just blown away. Gorgeous, gorgeous Pains Bay Beach, isn't it? Just beautiful. Now, if it was low tide, you would understand. We would probably have maybe another 10 feet of beach area. You can see where the actual um, backwash is, like, sort of like trough. You can see where it's uh, rolling on there on the surf. That is where low tide will probably come to later on today. So it would be beautiful out here again. I know a lot of you have partied and stayed in this area. I know this is a crowd favorite. I know that for sure. I, I don't even have to check the comments right now because I know how many people have asked me in the past to come down to the West Coast and do the Pains Bay area. I, I know that a lot, a lot of people. And I've done, I've done it a few times, but today is just a beautiful day. I, I need to come somewhere in the West Coast for a swim. I didn't want to go and fight up with sargasm this morning. And I didn't want to, um, you know, have any rougher surf. I thought we'd just come and have a real nice relaxing surf from one extreme to the other, from rough sea conditions to what you have to call pristine, perfect sea conditions. Platinum course. All right, let me see if I can show you what the shore bait looks like here. Already drop off in this immediate area. Let's see, hopefully you can get see this here. This is in stages today. You can see that there's one here where this water is pulling back. Uh, we've all discussed how come these troughs are formed. You see, water is coming back off the beach, coming underneath the one that's coming in. It's sucking up the sand itself. It forms these troughs, and there are multiple troughs this morning going out. So it will go off in layers and in steps, not actually go off in its entirety one time. Just a spectacular morning. Need some more walking here for you. Beautiful. Morning, ladies. Okay, in the distance is one sandy lane. Um, that is where I was telling you it was hard to get around. Look, there's no beach there on the northern side, none at all. I mean, before you could go around there onto a beach and then fight your way around the actual rocks and stuff going towards Sandy Lane. We did that in low tide the other day from those rocks. So you'll remember how there was no beach here. Well, today is even worse. There's actually nothing there at all. Again, it's high tide though. So, you know, this is going to change. And sand does move a lot down here. Breathtaking platinum coastline. Wow. Now you'll also notice that Sat Barbados do rentals down here. We talked with them uh, when we were up on the south side at Pebbles area. So please have a look here at this sign if you're interested in doing some paddling. You don't have to paddle, as I said before, in one area. They will take boards to wherever you're staying. Uh, just give Sarah or Jason or their team a call and they will certainly try and help you out in any way they can. Great couple, great operation. Again, not an ad and not a sales pitch. I'm just telling you the way my heart feels and the way I think about certain things. Nice chairs and umbrellas. I just can imagine the kind of day these folks are going to have when they come to the beach. Y'all would know because some of y'all some of y'all frequent this area. But it's going to be a beautiful day today. And um, there is one thing I'd like to mention about the West Coast. I know the ones that have been here would know it. Um, after two o'clock in the afternoon, there's literally no shade unless you have a beach umbrella because the sun starts to get the angle of where it comes underneath the foliage of the trees and stuff. So when you come down here, it can get really warm in the afternoon and then later into the evening, it literally is baking. Um, I love West Coast, not like the South, of course, but I just wanted to let you know of that. So if you're coming to the West and you're a little bit, um, you know, um, temperamental when it comes to the sun and the blistering rays and stuff, I would come down here like early morning, maybe 10.30 or so, go to maybe one and then make your way back to somewhere else. If you like the sun, you want your sunburn, you want your suntan, 
come whenever you feel because down here <laughs> down here is always open 24 hours a day seven days a week lovely home so cheese I don't want to go too close down on these folks, but I really like to go a little further on the beach because I, you know, we swam before a little further to the south. We swam in Millie Bay. Today we're going to go to the north of the bay. We said we're going to change this up. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's beautiful down here today. I mean, the only swell that's coming through here is the tide. That's it. There's nothing else that's coming through here. All the outside reefs are clear of, of any breaking water whatsoever. Perfect day actually to snorkel the west coast because you wouldn't get pushed up on the reef at all in, by anything. You could actually go between the traps, between the reef itself. It looks like a maze, any of you that have snorkeled up here would know what I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Every time we hear that, we, that, every time I say that, it feels as though I'm listening to what is the unwritten national anthem of Barbados. Of course we have our national anthem, but that song, Beautiful Barbados, is known by everyone. I remember going with my angel to a big independence parade and they played that song and the entire Kenson Oval sang it. It was quite amazing. Also did the national anthem as well and everybody sang it. But it's just to tell you that how well that tune is known and respected and understood. Listen to that tune and you can feel the passion in you. There's nothing that stops that. Good morning, everyone. All right, we're going to go and see in a couple of seconds. So I know that a couple of you are making your way to work now, uh, fretting, Nick, going to see quick now, but I'm going <laughs> to, I'll get you to see in a second. Don't worry. Okay, Rihanna, if you're home, look out. Give a wave to our friends here in EMC. All of our families here looking for you. Okay, she's not here in Barbados, obviously. If not, I know she'll be looking over you really now, shaking everyone. Just a beautiful, beautiful property. Stunning. Just look at the sky, folks. When we're going to see now and do our water 360, we're going to blow your mind with how clear it is today and how beautiful it is. Morning, everyone. Folks getting in their morning exercise and morning swims. All right, we're going to put this bike up here and we're going to take a little dip. All right, here we go. Hold on though, are you all ready for this? Tell me, are you already ready for this dip? Let me see on the screen. No one says anything about the dip. I guess you all don't want to swim today. I'm only, <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm going in now, hold a second. Don't get, don't get worried too much, you're going in right now. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Whoa, look at this. I got to show you the sand. Got to show you the transparency of the water. Got to let you enjoy this with me as well. Just gorgeous. My goodness gracious. I see they got somebody celebrating a happy birthday on here. So happy birthday in advance. I won't see that until later when Facebook brings up the notices. So whoever it is, happy, happy birthday to you. And whoever is not even mentioning it today, because some people like to conceal their birthdays, happy birthday to you as well. And those are had it yesterday. Same to you all. In Barbados, we do not have a birthday for one day. One day is our official day, but we celebrate for a whole week or a weekend, sometimes even a month. People are born in July, start celebrating the first, and do not end till the end of the month. August is the only reason they stop. Here we go, folks. Enjoy this area. We're going to skim the water for you. Well, I can say someone has had a birthday swim for today for sure and the love and the care and the genuine kindness that's being shown on this channel here right now is mind-boggling. I love, love, love to watch your all's comments when I get home in the afternoon. You know, I sit down and I think to myself, all right, I have five to six hours to answer these comments in and get out my report. Sometimes it goes to seven. 
So don't think that this is where my work ends today. This is where my work starts after I say goodbye to you all. But as you all know, I am devoted to the journey that I'm on. I will walk the path that has been laid for me. And I love it. You know, some of us in life have to do things that we do not like or that we really are not comfortable with. And I'm going to tell you the journey that God has me on. I love it. Don't misunderstand that word. L-O-V-E in big cap lots with hearts all around flowing like petals of a rose. Beautiful. <laughs> so, I don't mean to sound excited about my job but um, or my journey. I don't mean to sound excited that I am here swimming on this course with this transparency in these perfect waters with light breezes blowing off the southeast. I don't have to pretend that I'm looking at this amazing blue skies with just some enough high clouds just to make the contrast a little different. I don't have to pretend that I'm on here right now with 63 of my friends who I love dearly, who are like my brothers and sisters. None of that is pretense. All that is the journey I'm on. And I certainly don't have to pretend that I'm following God because I state that clearly every day. I am following God, the loving, kind, caring, forgiving person called God in my life. I will follow him to the end. I do not have any fear because I have willed my life and my will over to him. So I have no fear whatsoever. The only fear I have is to remember whose will and make sure it is always his will and not my will. And that's a human error. But that's something I forgive myself for and something I work on every day. And that's something I keep telling all of my friends in here. Forgive yourself for yesterday. You did the best you could do. Now today, go forward and see if you can do a little bit better. You'll never be perfect. There's only one one person that's perfect that's called god and that is not who we are so any day that we think we're perfect or any day that we think we can strive for that or any day we think we're better than someone else we are fooling no one but ourselves because we're all just who we are we control who we are we have no control over anything else and how other people live their lives is not our concern if we're not comfortable with it we move away but it's not our concern it's not something for us to change just beautiful, beautiful conditions. I, I feel there's spinning circles here all day. But as you notice, I'm going clockwise, anti-clockwise, smart, you know. I ain't gonna fall out here like a thought, not me. Anyway, everyone, you all have a wonderful day. We've had a beautiful video. I hope you've enjoyed this swim with me. The conditions down here are perfect. I know there's a waterman in here who right now presently has on a sheriff's badge that loves the ocean. Every vlog, he talks about the ocean. He talks the ocean in the beginning, Talks the ocean in the middle, talks the ocean in the end. And that is a true waterman. That is how we live, us watermen and us beach boys. We think of nothing but the sea and the ocean and the beach all day. And if there's no beach or there's no ocean, we will go and sit on a lake and watch the lake all day because we are what we call watermen. Anyone, everyone, again, today, the words are forgiveness. Forgiveness and love and care and passion and kindness. Remember, there are some people that do not know where to turn today let us be the people that guide them and not guide them as though they're supposed to go where we go let us be by example and then if they think our examples are good they will follow that is how it is done we're not perfect we'll make our mistakes as well but one thing for sure is is that we can go into today with the right positiveness right attitudes and we can change people's lives around us and not change them by trying to influence them change them by leading by example as i keep on saying you be happy, you smile, you laugh, you show kindness, you show love, you show care. And 99.9% .9 of the people around you will do the same thing to you. It is a reflection of what we are. It's like yawning, same thing. If you yawn, people around you yawn. So it's your expressions and the way that you are is what people will pick up on. And the people that want to follow that kind of uh, moment, that's how they will be. And if you are positive, I am sure that 99.9%, .9%, not changing that percentage, will follow you today and be happy and joyful and loving just like you so from me the Bajan warrior and that's i'd like to make that clear to everyone i am not a violent warrior i'm a warrior that fights for peace love kindness care compassion and humility so let us all go for today let us all be the warriors and i would like to say a special good morning to the person known as the island girl warrior um every day she has been on here going into her surgery going into the icu she has been on here and that is someone that is dedicated to following and being a part of the EMC. We're actually all a part of this EMC. This is ours and we make it what we want to make it. You know, we're following God. For me, I'm following God. And this is a nice, 
spiritual program. You all have a fantastic day, everyone. I love you again. Greetings from Barbados. Just let you see the sun that's coming up there at the moment. Beautiful, beautiful day. All right, you all take care. Peace and love from Barbados to so those of you who are on the rock. Um, hopefully I will catch you. I know there are a few ladies I'm supposed to trying to get uh, get to and I hopefully will be able to do that this afternoon. Um, but as you can appreciate, I have to follow this here like a schedule and it must go on schedule. I can't say I'm not doing this today. This must be done today. And, you know, greetings from the West Coast. Let's look at this beautiful time, time thing here. If it was uh, oars rather than actual engine, you would think you're back in the 30s. But even with the engine, I'm sure you'll think you're in the 50s or 60s. Have a wonderful day.